I meet 36-year-old Felix Hatambi near his former home in Naivasha, about 100 kilometers west of the capital, Nairobi. It was here in early 2008 where one of the darkest chapters in Kenyan history was written. People had taken refuge in this compound and a crowd trapped them and set it ablaze. I later came to confirm about 36 people in total died here. Julius, away at the time attending a relative's funeral, lost his wife and their four children in the fire. I felt blood drain from my body. I thought I was going to die. It's a very different scene now from what it was way back in 2008. By the time we got here, the structures had all been raised to the ground. There were smoldering debris all over this compound, and you could just make out the huddled bodies burnt together. Now, children play here, oblivious to the tragedy. But their parents say they can't forget. I can't sleep on my own. When the children go to visit their father on the weekends, I have to sleep at my neighbor's. The attack on Naivasha was said to have been in revenge for a similar attack on a church in Eldoret, for which the International Criminal Court has blamed William Ruto. Felix Atambi says he has forgiven those who killed his family. In my heart, I have no bitterness with anyone. I can't tell you who did it anyway, because I was not here. I am at peace. Powerful words from a man with a big heart. But while he may have forgiven, Hatami can never forget. He still has nightmares. Robert Magella, CCTV, Naivasha, Kenya.